Thresh. Hello, uh, I made this personally for you. This is a support guide. I'm playing Thresh, so maybe you'll learn a little bit about Thresh, but mostly this is a macro, or sorry, a overall general sort of thing. This is to teach lane phase and also to teach mid game and later game. So, uh, Thresh is magic damage, as you can see. Magic. Magic. So you can go Relic Shield. However, because of his passive, you can also go uh, Shoulder Steel Guard if you'd like. So we have a uh, maybe a jungle. We don't. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We we have a jungle, as you can see, and so you want to help your jungle as best as you can. But you already know this. That's just common. So here is a thing that I would uh, definitely suggest. Don't level up your abilities before lane phase. You don't really know what's going to happen in the case of an invade. Most of the time you level up Flay for Thresh because you want to try to disengage things. However, on the case of a invade, you want to start Hook always. Because if you don't, well, then you'll get screwed. But, seeing as how the quote-unquote invade never happened, well, now you never have to worry about. So now you can just level up your stuff. My ADC is getting attacked, so I'm just going to auto-attack the enemies and airborne them to really just kind of show them they're not supposed to be here. My ADC is also not getting as much CS, so I want to use my stacks as best as I can. I want to poke them as best as I can. Uh, use your auto attack range to the best of your ability, because uh, you'll, you'll, you're basically going to be doing what is known as min maxing, and you're going to really you're going to really hurt people if you just keep auto attacking them. I'm going to pop my potion because I'm about to die, and because I popped my potion, I lived, and we got a kill. Unfortunately, my ADC died, but that's completely fine. Now, a couple of things happened there. I used my, I used my, uh, my, uh, ignite to ignite the Kogma, just in case he got away. And it's completely fine that I got it. One, because I'm a Thresh, but also because my ADC was able to get another, uh, or to get a kill in the first place, which is really nice. Secondly, I used my, uh, shield, or sorry, my potion, to survive that endeavor. I missed my hook, but that's okay. We can just keep auto-attacking. Sometimes not everything keeps going. We're gonna flash for the final auto-attack, but if we miss it, it's fine. Keep auto-attacking as best you can. My hook is almost up. We can keep walking. Then Italy will be forced to, do, to eventually come back to us. Use your play, and boom. They're dead. Unfortunately, I accidentally took the kill there because I'm a little unfortunate it, but there's a Kogma here. Come on, Mr. Man. I threw my uh, lantern back uh, so that my ADC could take the lantern. Unfortunately, he didn't take it, and so he doesn't get the kill. I'm just going to secure it. There's nothing wrong with securing a kill. If a kill doesn't happen, then it, uh, it's better to get a, make a kill happen rather than not have a kill happen at all. Now, I might be 3-0, and oh, but there's a lot of things that's happening. I'm using my lantern to get my ADC into the spray. Ow. And I'm also shielding him. You need to hit those hooks in cases like those. Uh, because it literally is the reason why my ADC lived there. Now, my ADC needs to leave, but definitely that's a good reason why my ADC lived. Fortunately, the enemy ADC is face is trying to kill me. But what a fool he is! Don't forget to use your stacks. Unfortunately, I'm not really showing that you should be using your stacks, but definitely you should. I use my ignite just to secure the kill because it's already up. Remember, it has a three-minute cooldown. It's up basically every every three minutes, which is really good.
When you first back as, an, as a support, you want to get a control ward, an oracle lens, and buy one of these. Uh, as Thresh, you almost always want to buy, build Locket of Solari, but this is a new uh, item, and it's also very good. The reason for Locket of Solari is because of the fact that it gives you 200 health, 20 ability haste, 30 armor, and 30 magic resist, which is really good. Even Shroud does the exact same thing, however, it has, after immobilizing it, champions for being immobilized, cause that target and all t nearby enemy champions to take 9% increased damage for 4 seconds if you activate it. This one is activate devotion, grant nearby allies a shield, which is really good. That's why I tend to go the other one, or uh, that's why I tend to go Locket of Solari, because it's good to have. I flayed the minions back so that my ADC can almost certainly get the CS. Just a basic engage, don't auto attack, just to make sure that my guy doesn't do it. Put the control ward either here or over there. Most likely you're going to want to do that. And lo and behold, we just got a double kill for my support. I mean my ADC. Now, usually you use Oracle Lens to see if there's wards here, and almost always there is, and then you use an Oracle Lens to see if there's wards here, but uh, usually there isn't in bot games because the bots never do that. But that's just something to keep in mind in real games to put the, um, to put the, uh, to uh, get rid of wards, because Oracle Lenses does do that. It's fine to take a little bit of turret damage as long as you're, uh, as long as you can get out of it. Or as long as you can get out of the turret as fast as you can. That's why hooks like that are necessary. And you also need to know that you can kill uh, the enemy. Because that could also be completely dangerous. Now the reason why I did it is because Nidalee, I know, doesn't have any CC. And so I don't need to worry about getting CC'd under turret. If that was a Morgana, I would have never done that. Because... I would have probably taken too much turret damage and maybe even died if the enemy ADC was there. That's another reason why I did that hook, because the enemy ADC wasn't there. Now they're both here, so it would be risky if I went in, but it seems as though my Jace has the same idea as me, and has decided to go in. Didn't need to use my Ignite there, because we're doing enough damage, so no reason to use Ignite, save it for another engage, or a team fight. That's where moments like exhaust is a little bit better, especially when you're stomping your lane. You can use Thresh's Lantern, by the way, to negate uh, turret damage. As you can see, I took almost no damage from the turret because of the Thresh uh, hook itself. Now you're probably wondering what that was. That was Nidalee Trap. Now Nidalee Trap goes invisible after a bit, but with, uh, if you have a control ward or an oracle lens, you can see it. So it's very good to have a control ward or oracle ends against Nidalee if you ever go against her because she very well could have placed traps all over the place and we wouldn't know or hook by me we're just gonna go in use ignite to make sure that the kill happens so on such a low cooldown there's no reason not there's a cannon right here so we need to auto attack it for the passive you don't want to die to Kogma, so unfortunately we can't do that poor hook by me I sh didn't read my uh, I didn't read my, um, what's it called? Uh, I didn't read my uh, range there. They're probably wondering, why did I throw my hook out to my ADC, even though I didn't even remotely go in? Well, it was for the assist, of course. If you g give a shield of any sort to anyone, you will get the uh, assist for the kill. I'm feeling cocky, so I'm going to try this. I use my bush to my ability so she can't auto attack me, and look at that, she's the same health as me. Feel a little bit greedy, but I would never do this in a real game. In a real game, you would leave Roar as soon as your ADC dies. Backing here is good because the wave is pushed. Um, I'm a little bit behind on my stacks for my support item, but that's fine. I just haven't really had the good chance. Uh, let's take a look at their team. Uh, AP, AD, AP, AD, AD. So it's better to get the plated steel caps. Before you leave, 
grab two control wards and be on your way. As you can see, my ADC ha is a little bit fed, so he just got a double kill without me. Things happen. So I don't really need to be down there anymore. He can get normal stuff. I need to go mid, however. Look at there's two people versus one. That's never a good time, and I can assure you it's not. I'm going to go ahead and put my control ward into the pixel brush over here. It allows me to see anyone who's going through the jungle and river, assuming we don't have risk scuttler. I'm going to use my control ward in the case that they have a... Oh, I missed my thing. In the case that they had a ward there, but it's fine. We're going to keep going in. The Jinx is really feeling herself. I really want this Karthus. We got him. I might die here. But if I use my Lock of Solari, I get a shield. And so that's pretty good. Just auto attack them until the enemy is dead. Well, almost dead. And we got him. I didn't want to take that kill, but it was mostly for the secure. I did have my Ignite up, so that was my bad. The Jinx definitely could have gotten that if I paid a little bit more attention. However, other than that, we're most definitely going to be getting this turret. Now, you're probably wondering, why did I leave my ADC all the way? Well, it's because um, my ADC, well, it doesn't really have to deal with anyone. Because, as you can see, Kogma's up here. And there's there would have been 2v3 uh, on this poor little Jinx here. That would not have been fun. But we got a good old team fight going on. I immediately pop my Ignite to make sure... Flash forward to really make sure it happens. I get rooted. I'm probably going to die here, unless I play this correctly. Fortunately, my Graves dies. I played that poorly. I didn't have enough uh, mana anyway for that fight, so I definitely shouldn't have gone in. Something I should have paid more attention to. My bad on that. I'm gonna get. Uh, so there's two options. I can either get Zeke's Convergence or Thornmail. Now, a Thornmail is if they are heavy AD. They have a little bit of both. So I'm going to go with Zeke's Convergence for my next item. Of course, I don't have that. So I'm just going to move on. Always buy a control ward. If you don't have two in your inventory always, well, you're doing something wrong. Of course, now that bottom lane is gone, Chase has decided to come into the mid lane because, well, of course he should. What a beautiful... What a beautiful ult by my Jinx there, unfortunately. Nothing really occurred with it. Would have been nice if it killed, but there's nothing you can do sometimes. It's completely fine to auto-attack cannons and minions if you have stacks. If you don't, well, don't. You know you know how that is. At this point, we're just moving forward. We don't need to move in on people, uh, unless, of course, they overstep. Um, unfortunately, both of my carries are low, and there's no way I can kill this guy by myself. However, I'm going to walk forward because we almost have this down to really zone him out. And he ran back into his other turret, which is very nice. Fortunately, I don't have... Oh, never mind. We got a ward down there. Oh, I missed my hook. Very poor by me. I'm going to walk in on this guy. I think we can do it. And we can. See? I'm going to use my Lock of Solari to take no damage from the Kogma passive. And I'm going to want to be one this guy. Just kidding. Whoa, he blew my guy up. I don't know what happened there, but he is also... That was very confusing, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what happened there. Karthus one-shot Jace and then stood still. Uh, I'm very low, and I don't really want to be here. I want to try to save this person, but I can't. Unfortunately, couldn't get to my uh, lantern, and I'm going to die. Overstay by... My team's part and by my part. Uh, um, you want to try to get Glacial Buckler instead of Kindle Gem? Well, actually, that's a lie. <laughs> Either is fine in any situation. In this situation, they're not doing that much damage. So I want to be more tanky and have Ability Haste. Uh, neither of these give me Ability Haste, and I can just straight up buy Kindle Gem. Oh, wait, I can also just straight up buy Glacial Buckler. Never mind, buy Glacial Buckler if you could straight up buy it. If you can't straight up buy Glacial Buck Buckler, just buy Kindle Gem. Uh, he went in way too early. Didn't pay attention to where I was on the map. That was unfortunate, but uh, I have Jace coming. 
gonna throw my lantern, get him in here. And boom. Oh, I accidentally auto attacked there. Didn't need to, but that's okay. Notice how I haven't used my ignite yet. I'm waiting for a more, uh, what you call, um, scary uh, team fight. I also put my control ward right there, as you can see, because, well, it's very necessary, uh, because you can see the jungler. I'm gonna use my ignite on Leona here because Leona is very beefy. Of course, uh, as you can see. So if I didn't use my ignite there, we probably would not have killed her because she's so tanky. She's such a tanky champion. Now we definitely don't want to go in on this. All we want to do is we want to try to get this turret. Never mind. I guess we do. I keep forgetting. My Jace is extremely fed, and he got a quadra kill. Easy. And uh, I used my Luck at Solari to give him a shield so that he wouldn't take that much damage from the ramped up turret shots that were occurring. <laughs> I'm just going to use my flash there. It's better for me to use my flash than him. I don't need to flash hook anything at this point in time. Oh, this is getting dangerous. We need to get this turret really fast. Okay, now we can go in. We need to kill this Leona because she's the tank. I'm going to put down my lantern just for an AoE shield, and I'm going to zone these people out because I need to. I'm going to get the hook on the Kog'Ma. Kog'Ma's going to be on me. I might be dead. I'm fine. I'm dead. Ooh. Lantern saved me there. Lantern saved me there. It's the only reason why I lived. And now it's time to buy Zeke's Convergence. At this point, it's up to you. I usually get Watchful Wardstone because I can have three Control Wards in my inventory instead of just two. And also I can have two Control Wards on the map instead of just one. Which is nice for a uh, support because warding and vision is all you need to do. Uh-oh. They just got a double kill, the enemy. I'm coming. We do have Grave still there and Jinx is very low. I just am trying to come so that I can save them and get them out of here. Alright, sometimes people won't take your lantern because they may not know what it is. So at this point, everyone is dead. There's nothing you really can do. There's two choices. I can go here to secure the turret, or I can get one that is worth more. Now, inhibitor turrets are worth 50 gold. Out, uh, inner turrets are worth 500. So as you can imagine, uh, you'd probably want the, uh, you know, better one. Also, Jace can just come in and help me out here. I'm going to take this turret as best as I can. I, I have Lock of Solari. I can just take the turret. Completely worth. Uh, and I didn't even take that much health. See? Completely fine. Uh, I didn't even need to use my, uh, my uh, ultimate there. There was no reason. I was just there. I'm going to use my Ignite on this uh, woman. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but you can also um, drag people by walking. So you, uh, I dragged the um, Leona out of turret range so I wouldn't take turret damage. And also so my Jace really wouldn't take turret damage. Unfortunately, he didn't get out of the turret in time, but basically I got them out of turret range so that we don't have to really uh, fight them under turret, especially since she's so tanky. It's really good to use Ignite against tanky people because it's, you know, such a good thing to do because it depletes their health. Also, it's completely fine to just straight up CS when there's no one in your lane as a support. Uh, assuming no one is coming to your lane, if no one is coming to your lane, then that's fine. Now we just auto attack this turret. And because I have 1300 gold, maybe not though, because it looks like I need to get on in on this. Uh oh, I've been abandoned. Use my ultimate to try to slow them. Nothing I can do, I had no lantern up. And that was just not a, not a very good engage by the Jinx, but I wanted to at least try. Just sometimes doesn't happen, sometimes doesn't work, and sometimes you just have to leave for yourself. I'm going to get Watchful Wardstone. I tend to get it because it's just good to have. 
And then it's up to you at this point. Force of Nature is great right now, especially for Thresh. You could get Randuins, because if you do Randuins, briefly slow nearby enemies. Uh, Force of Nature absorbs magic damage from any three champions. Though they have a lot of... Uh, they, they have AD, and their AD is most of their damage anyway. And then there's Thornmail. I'm going to get Randuins, Omen, because I want to be full everything. Oh, well, I'll let you look at that. The game is almost over. But yes, as you can see, I have three control wards that are put in the watchful ward stone, and I can put two on the map. Because the other, uh, sorry, because the other one is over, where is it? It's somewhere. <laughs> I can't find it. Seems as though I'm not going to make it, which is unfortunate, but things happen. But yeah, that's just a little bit of, um, you know, support. Um... Other than that, that's all I have for you, and uh...